Hello all, thanks for watching, or coming online, or... <laughs> I always mess that up. Anyway, you'll notice that's the castle on the Ragnarok map. I wanted to show you where I start out, usually. I had wanted to build up here. Because of just how high it is. So I started a little place down there, and... I got up here, built upwards, and it didn't work out. It's locked off. I'm not really sure why. There hasn't been a drop there yet. Well, let me move along the pathway. Most people will recognize the land bridge. Now, I worked my way back here and up, and I thought, you know, this little area is a pretty decent place. I've got a few mods that allowed me to build quite well got the architect mod but it just didn't seem epic now that's turning out all right so I might end up keeping it but it just might end up being a waste of effort so I'm going to just keep it for the two stairwells there to allow me to get up to where I want to go Now you'll notice over there is the lava flows. We're probably going to get a little bit close to that. If you were to follow the land bridge though, and keep coming around the mountain, you would follow this area right here. As long as you hug the cliff face, you'll find my place. Now eventually I will be building up. Maybe even reaching the top of that area there, which is what I like. But I've got this locked away. This is sort of the back entrance into the town of Burton. This is going to be a bird airy. There's going to be some places there to just hitch your bird up. This is the front entrance, or the side, I guess you'd say. I've already had a Diplo fall in here, so I had to take care of that annoying bugger that kept pushing me around. This right here is Violet's Forge. That is Little Maya's Tavern. And that over there will be probably the alchemist shop. I didn't get the cafe set up like I wanted. I've got some streets going through. I did have some lampposts, but I had to move them temporarily. Now let's get this guy right here around right here. Burton is what I call him. Nice comforting fireplace mortar and pestle, along with a cooking pot, cabinet, fur rug, and a nice bed. Downstairs, in the armory, there is a mason's table, a blacksmith's table, Meshki's workbench, which allows you to do a few different things. A barbecue, an alchemy table, and a brazier. Then I have the villager crafting table, the carpentry, wood roofing, smithy, boat construction table, and the other smithy. Inside, a mortar and pestle. 
I'm probably going to move all those into the alchemist place. Or maybe even the armory shop. This is a temporary work counter. And of course, benches for the one behind the counter. <laughs> sort of got that idea from uh, plenty of forges out here working non-stop. And here you can tie up your dinosaur. And there's also a hitch dino here too. This is going to be a place where you get a couple of tables. A nice bar back here, a couple of tables. I haven't fully outfitted yet. I just finished getting it built last night. This is going to be the cook area. I have a few more things planned in there. This is where I'm going to put the mead barrels, or the beer barrels. This will be a spare room. I think probably the hostess. And another room. Set up with a bed. And a few little furnishings, but just barely started. Now we go up to the main room. Originally this I had planned it to look like the inn in Whiterun. Didn't quite work out that way. <laughs> but I did get the balcony. Now I'm going to have to put a door here because if you're trying to get private and there's tables out here, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> Just going to be uncomfortable. Going to be tables around here. And a balcony to go outside, of course. And enjoy your food. And the most special, Attic Room. If anybody's recognized that name, it was the non-existent room in the Sleeping Giant Inn. Unoutfitted, of course, but this will be the specialty room. You know, the most expensive room in the house type thing. Still got lots of clutter and furnishings to add. Now, right here is where I want to put the cafe. Nice wide open balcony, then have it sit right up on the hill and just have tables going down. And this is going to be the alchemist shop. Of course, they just built it. Things are a work in progress, bound to change. Nothing is complete, of course. Just started. Let's go get back on Burton. And see what we can see. Now here's the main gate right here. that I couldn't go down the hill too far. Not couldn't, just didn't. But I do plan, if things go all right, I may in fact come down here. Okay, so that's just a stone. <laughs> Thought it might have been one of those megalorossuses, whatever. <laughs> Plenty of iron up this way. So the plan was to build down this way to make it look like Dragon's Reach. It just didn't work out the way I really wanted it to. But there's no terrain that is perfect. And over there is the most dangerous area that everybody recognizes if they've gone along the coast. Centipedes, T-Rexes, big, big Carnos. Like Gigas, I think, are over there, too. Scorpions, Titan Bows. Pretty much like Carno Island did on uh, the center map, I think it is. Anyway, the plan down here is to build a uh, stable area to keep the dinos. 
I liked how this set up like this. Just a nice big escarpment for it. I'm going to continue to block this area off, spread out words. Block off this run up the, up the mountain. Hopefully I don't get bored. <laughs> Probably put Yeah, I think I'm going to stop, put a gate right there in that downward area, block that whole area off, and then block these areas right here. It's gonna be one massive castle fort city type area. And I'm still going to have to test it because I know that once you get up here there are some areas you can't build on. Like right here. Going up here is impossible. Let's see, I still got plenty of stamina. But this is all red line. But I don't think on the top is. So I probably will either put my keep up here or just turn it into the mine and revisit this section up here. Still not completely sure. Anyway, this right here is Mount Talaman. I think that's how you pronounce it. T-A-L-E-M-Y-N Carrie Voices Gamertag on Twitter. I love this area though. Oh, gotta tell you, gotta level up. Interesting. Anybody's interested in putting their two cents in, I'd definitely appreciate it. Difference in layout, possible buildings to add to it, because I do want something sort of a central keep, maybe even up on this cliff face right there. So while the city is laid out below, just on this area right here to put a massive wall behind it and the keep right here just overlooking the city I think that would be pretty cool alright let's see what you got Burton, let's see what you got. Too bad your speed didn't increase. Anyway, this is the town of Burton. Situated on the side of Mount Talaman. Thank you, Burton, for shitting on my ideas. <laughs> I will go put it back on a spot. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned. Oh. <laughs> stay tuned for more. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. I might have to move this street in one more to get more for this area. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do that. It's difficult enough keeping everything symmetrical like I like. But, you know, this looks really empty. Still got the decorative edges to add. It's too bad they didn't have any horizontal runs for roof edging. 
Because, you know, you got the ver vertical pillars, but you don't get the, st the struts, the buttresses. Things that really make architecture. Oh well. That's just me complaining a little bit. I'm going to try to keep the swearing down to nothing. I prefer this to be more family oriented. A little boring, I guess, for some. But, you know, kids deserve to watch some things too. Not just us. Alright, again, thank you for watching.